this is not happening. Coming, Lily. Just hold on. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. Lily? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. <laughs> I'm here because of this. Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. 
We need you. Lily needs you. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. Huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. A cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Slide projector? Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Ah! Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Thanks, Kitty. A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Here we go again. Into the looking glass.
Is this the right place? Search team. Baker. <laughs> <laughs> 